Hey everyone, welcome to Creative Winners and welcome to another beautiful business infographic design that we're going to create today and you will learn step by step process how we're going to create this awesome design but before that watch this. If you are getting late for a meeting and you need to change some text in the scanned document, what would you do? Here comes the PDF element 7 from Wondershare for a rescue. Its optical character recognition plugin works so amazingly that with just a click of a button, you can edit the text on the scanned document. That's the power of PDF element 7. It's a great business tool for all the PDF requirements. For more information, refer to the links in the video description. So before moving further, I would request you to subscribe, join, like and share this video and thank you for all the love and support. So as usual, our every video starts with inserting few shapes. So today we will use this shape. I don't know the name of this shape but you can look at it. So we need this shape only. Now duplicate it and place next to it and send it to back now repeat the process again like this and one last one now we have these five shapes in a row so this diagram is only for processes with five steps you know five pointers or five bullet points in a list or a workflow with five steps so this is a beautiful diagram but very simple very minimal highly corporate and you can use it for any business slide you want now insert another rectangle and send it to back uh, apply inward shadow to it apply pattern format now we will fill gradient colors in these five pointers the shapes that we have created and you know how to fill the gradient colors it's very easy uh, there is no rocket science there are two gradient stops on one of the gradient stops fill a dark color and on the other gradient stop fill light color and by doing this you will create this beautiful effect as you can see on a screen so repeat the steps and use different colors on each of these pointers and make sure it matches with your presentation design theme presentation design color palette or if you don't know the color palette you can google different color palettes and they will find lots of color combination so color is very important at the moment so this is my one of, uh, one of my favorite color palettes which i generally use and this color palette you know draws the user attention uh, so this is a very important color palette and you should you know uh, i mean take a note of it and you can save this slide uh, please do not forget to you know download this template from the link given in the video description from there you can download this slide now the next step is once this is done is to you know insert this small circle and we will fill a nice light gradient color uh, I mean on one of the gradient stop we will fill white and on the second we will fill a slight gray color apply shadow effect increase blurness now change the gradient angle once it's done let's reduce the color shadow as well it's quite dark now go to line effects apply gradient line select apply gradient line and you'll see a very beautiful effect that will come out of it it will look like a realistic 3d kind of button first gradient stop apply white color on the second applies slightly gray color increase the width change the angle and now you can see a beautiful button a 3d kind of button i think it's not looking good here we have to keep it on towards the left so let's first place the circles on all these shapes and once done we will group them and we will move it towards the left the best part of any beautiful design is that we can reuse the shapes you don't have to create these shapes and again and again so here you can see we have only three shapes one is the background strip second is this shape and third is this circle so we are using this shape 
now select all these circles and move towards the left and here you go it makes more sense when it's placed on the left as a business process so now it's coming out nicely our you know wireframe is ready the basic diagram is ready now the next step is to do something crazy here now let's create format or template for the text here so I have inserted this rounded rectangle here reduce its weight and we've applied the same gradient color which is there on this shape at the bottom the triangle one I don't know what to call this shape it's a mixture of you know triangle plus rectangle so it's quite an easy job you can use format painter to apply the color there so once this is done let's place it align it with the you know the circle the center of the circle like this or you can use the align tool at the top now duplicate it again the best part of any design is to reusing the you know shapes and that will you know save your time and effort now apply the same color style gradient color now apply the red gradient here so I'm using you know this format painter and remove its shadow now again duplicate this one and place it here now apply the gradient yellow orange gradient use format painter we don't need shadow here because format painter applies the complete format and shadow comes with it so we don't need shadow here so we have removed it now duplicate it again and place it here the last one and change its color so by this time you must have guessed it why we are using these small straight lines here is that we are creating a placeholder for the text that you're gonna fill here each point represents some information that you want to put here so before that we have to you know write steps like a b c d e and we will put these alphabets or numbers in these circles like this you can use one two three four five or in romans as well so again we are repeating the steps so by this time you must have guessed it right that reusing the components saves lots lots of your time because we are using the component again and again we don't have to you know recreate it so that's how you can you know optimize the processes while designing any presentation so now we have put a b c and simply duplicate it and place it here just type d change its color again duplicate and place it here type e change its color and guess what you are done now the last step is to fill gradient color in the text E it's blue green kind of gradient so now comes the next part that is to add text and you know how to insert text you just have to you know insert that text box and write text so this is this is your playground here you can experiment with different styles you can write text in different formats some stats or anything you want to showcase I've kept it plain and simple so you can try different things so it's quite easy as well I have kept heading in a condensed font and the description in a simple font such as monster at font also I've kept the color a bit light not completely black but dark gray or something in middle that will look good here I've kept the heading color same as of the shape 
now duplicate these components and place it throughout your slide so you can see how how easy it is to you know creating presentation slides it's not that difficult as it looks if you can see there are only four shapes at the moment rest are you know the duplicated shapes so now we have changed the heading color formatting text and alignment should take most of a time because it helps any slide to convey the message in a much better way as compared to a plain text because as humans we love to see designs we love creativity and we always want to see something beautiful and something presented in a very decorated way and and same is the scenario with presentations you present the text in a beautiful and in a very presentable way and the more presentable you are the better the better it will for your presentation it will create more impact on the minds of the reader so coming back to the slide what i am doing here is i'm creating this hollow circle and what we're going to do is we will place it on each of these bars and we want to showcase some kind of number in it if you don't have any you know number or stat to showcase here then remove these circles but if uh, if you have certain numbers to showcase at every step then you can keep it or you can use it to place icons as well so it's totally up to you how you how you can uh, leverage these uh, shapes here so i'm putting some number here so that's how you can use these circles so as you can see this diagram is very simple and very elegant and anyone can use it for any kind of presentation So PowerPoint is a great tool from Microsoft and it's very it's very popular, widely popular but very underestimated tool. It has lots of functions and it has a power to create some great designs. And most of the world's big deals or even small businesses, you know business deals close with the help of powerpoints only if one can understand how to build a story how to prepare a proposal with the help of powerpoint then so now i have fast forwarded the video here because we are repeating the steps and we have added the circles now the design is complete you can add a beautiful title at the top and look at this beautiful infographic very elegant very corporate look so you can download it download it for free from the g-drive link provided in the video description so if you have liked this video and if you have liked my work please 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 subscribe to our channel this will motivate us also hit the like button hit the bell icon to get regular notifications also you can join the membership it's very important for us if you will join so thanks in advance so thank you everyone have a nice day peace do not forget to share subscribe like comment and join thank you